Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and this is a brief introduction on pyramids and uh, how to find the surface area of a pyramid. So, uh, first thing about pyramids, let's look at these two shapes, uh, these two solids. Uh, let's flip this over. Uh, so, these two are pyramids. Uh, the, the main thing, biggest characteristic about pyramids is uh, they both have just one base. So we could sit it like this, and we could sit it like this, um, and they would just sit on that one base right there and right there. So a pyramid uh, just has one base. So that's the biggest difference between a pyramid and a prism, which has two bases, like this hexagonal prism right here. So. Uh, so, let's look at the parts of a pyramid. Uh, so, as we said, the pyramid has one base. It sits on that one right there. And unlike a prism, it has two types of heights. Uh, there's the height height, uh, which goes from the center of the base all the way to the highest points of the pyramid. So, uh, that vertex right there. So with this three-dimensional shape right here. So it would start from here, the bottom, the, the center of that base, and goes right to the top right there. So from there to there, or there to there. Um, and we'll call this H. So we'll reference H later on um, when we talk about the formula for the surface area of a pyramid. And then there's the other type of height, which is the slant height or the lateral height okay so lateral height uh, so slat height doesn't start in the center like the regular height or the height height it starts from uh from one of the faces right here okay and it goes straight up right there so if you think about this as just one triangle okay the slat height is basically the height of that triangle right there. But when we're talking about a pyramid, if we put it to this to an angle like this, um, so it would be the slanted height right there. So slanted height. And the slanted height is on the surface of the pyramid, okay? The height height is in the inside, if you wanna think about that. So the inside of the pyramid, uh, the slanted height is on the surface of the pyramid, okay? Uh, so, and the uh, variable that we're going to use for slant height is a cursive L. Let's draw that again, a cursive L or a slanted L. Um, so uh, slant height is a cursive L uh, and height from the center to the highest points is just an H. So if you wanna pause this and draw this in your notebooks, um, I would and I would highlight height and slant height or lateral height so that you know the difference between the two. And this is just the base. And there's only one, okay? So one base. All right, so that's, so that's what a pyramid is. Here are the different parts of the pyramid. Uh, so here we have this, specifically this one is a square pyramid because the base is a square. And this one is a triangular pyramid because this base is a triangle. And uh, if you want to be even more specific, we could say an equilateral triangular pyramid because the base is an equilateral triangle. Okay, So there's that. All right, so let's go on to the surface area of a pyramid. So here's a question that uh, will show up in your math class. Uh, find the surface area of a pyramid. Let's try to figure out first what the formula is for the surface area of a pyramid. And what we're going to use to get the formula for the surface area of a pyramid, we'll start off with the formula for the surface area of a prism. You guys remember what the formula is? So for a prism, the surface area is 2B plus PH. So uh, the B is for the base area, 
is and for the two base areas that's why we multiply by two okay the p is the base perimeter and the h is for the the heights or the distance between the two bases so we're going to use this and we're going to change some parts of this to get the surface area of a pyramid so let's leave this here so you guys could reference that and let's put our actual pyramid so first off what's the main difference between a prism and a pyramid it only has one base so uh, let's write over here pyramid so surface area of a pyramid okay uh, we're going to drop this two because a pyramid only has one base so let's write b and then write plus okay so we have the base area here and we're trying to figure out the rest of the areas for these other triangles now let's think about this if you guys remember the other video uh if we wrap this in wrapping paper okay well let's go back to this prism if we wrap this into wrapping paper it would be a rectangle so that's why this right here represents the area of this rectangle that we unwrapped this one uh it'll be a little different if we unwrap this in wrapping paper let me draw it out for you uh so for this example uh the wrapping paper really involves four triangles so one triangle another triangle another triangle and another triangle uh so and all these triangles are congruent so your drawing is probably better than mine uh so uh this right here is still p because that's the base perimeter or the perimeter of the base okay so we're still going to use p now if we multiplied it by uh well remember if we go back there's two types of heights there's the height height that goes from the center all the way to the highest point of the pyramid and then there's the slant height that goes from the surface okay so from here to the highest point what do you think we're going to use we're going to use the slant height because we're talking about the surface area and the slant height is on the surface okay uh, so we're going to multiply the base perimeter times the slant height but if we multiply this, this will give us the area of a rectangle. Okay, so let me draw this out. Uh, so this would be P, and this would be the slant height because right here would be your slant height. And so that'd be the same thing. But do we need all of this area? No, we only need this much. And remember triangles, are half of rectangles so uh, we're going to multiply the base perimeter times the slant height and divide it by two okay because all these triangles put together are half of this entire rectangle so there's your formula for the surface area of a pyramid it's the one base area plus uh, the base perimeter times the slant height over two because these are all triangles. Uh, so let's label it for you. Base area. So write this in your notebooks, make a power card on it, uh, and um, yeah, memorize it. So this is base perimeter running out of paper but I guess you could see that and this right here is the slant height okay uh, so one thing when you're writing this in your notebooks and on your power cards okay highlight this this slant height right here highlight that so make sure you use the slant height Okay, the height that is on the surface 
when you're trying to find the surface area and not the inside height, okay? So use the slat height right there on the surface and not that height, height from there, okay? So now let's use this formula to find the actual surface area of this pyramid right here. Okay, so, uh, so surface area is equal to base area. Okay, so it looks like this right here is a square. Uh, so we're just gonna multiply it. Four times four is 16. So there's our base area plus uh, base perimeter is our P. So let's find the perimeter, the distance around this base. Uh, so since it's a square, four plus four plus four plus four is 16. Right, four plus four is eight, plus four is 12, plus another four is 16 times the slant height. Uh, so it's from here on the surface all the way to the highest point, which is 6.3 over. And because all of these slanted faces or these lateral faces are triangles, okay, uh, we're going to divide that by two. Then we're just going to use our calculator. So 16 times 6.3 is 100.8 and divide it by two, oops, which is 50.4. So, and then we have, we'll bring down that 16, which is the base area. And we'll just add those two. So plus 16 is 66.4. 66.4, remember this is area. Area is how many squares fit on the surface. So, and this is in feet. So feet squared. All right, there you go. That's the surface area of a pyramid. Let me show you one more example before you go. Um, All right, so surface area of a pyramid. Let's write the formula again. So surface area is equal to the base area plus the base perimeter times the slant height over two. Okay, so uh, let's look at what they give us. They give us a base and looks like this base, like in the previous example, is a square. Uh, and we could figure out the base area, we could figure out the base perimeter, uh, but it doesn't look like we have the slant height. It looks like they give us the height height, the height from the center all the way to the highest point of the pyramid. Uh, so, but we could figure out what the slant height is. Um, since the height, height, right here, this height, uh, starts at the center, we could draw a line going from to here. Let's use a different color. So we could draw a line going from here and then draw from the highest points going down. Let's draw another line going there. Okay. And so let's figure this out. We want this slant height. This is, this will be our L right here. Uh, the height of the surface of this this triangle right here. We have eight, which is the height height. We we could figure out what this is right here. Uh, since this is in the center, this since this entire line from here to here is 10, just like here, uh, but we're starting at the center. Uh, this is just the halfway point or the midpoint. So the length of this would be five. So look what we have here. It's a right triangle. And when we have two sides of a right triangle, what could we use to find the missing side? Pythagorean theorem. So let's use Pythagorean theorem to help us find the slant height. So let's write L squared, since this is the hypotenuse, it's the, on the opposite side of the right angle. That'll serve as our C, uh, C squared, or our slant height squared is equal to eight squared plus five squared, okay? So uh, let's just start multiplying things out. Eight squared is 64 
plus 5 squared is, oops, 5 times 5 is 25, okay, L squared, and L squared equals, so let's add 64 plus 25 is 89, and let's check if we can simplify this 89. Uh, I don't think we could simplify it if we could find any pairs uh, because opposite of squaring something is square rooting. And remember when we square root numbers, um, we would find some pairs. So let's see, does 89, what's 89 divided by two? 44.5, 89 divided by three. Uh, so there's that, uh, 89 uh, divided by, so Let's see, seven, no. Okay, and let's even use our calculator. So instead of doing that, let's just find the square root of 89. So, and another trick, uh, if you go, in, if you press mode on these calculators, it'll actually square root for you. So if you go to mode and click on math print, okay, and then second it quit. So if, if it gives us um, a non-decimal answer, then all right, well, so there. Square root of 89 is just square root of 89. So let's just leave it as that. So L is equal to the square root of 89. Now, we have everything that we need to find the surface area of this pyramid when we use this formula. So surface area is equal to the base area. Our base is... A square so 10 times 10 is a hundred plus base perimeter 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 10 20 30 40 times the slant height and we use a Pythagorean theorem to help us find the slant heights or the lateral heights which is square root of 89 and because these are all triangles, okay, all these faces right here are triangles. It's half of a rectangle. We're going to divide it by 2. So 100 plus. Uh, so uh, 40 divided by 2 is 20. Uh, square root of 89. And we can't combine these. These aren't like terms because this has a radical 89. This one doesn't. So this one would end up being our final answer. But don't forget the units. So inches and its area. So it's the number of squares that fit on the surface. So inches squared. So there's your final answer. But if you want a decimal answer, we'll go back to our calculator. Go to mode and go to classic. So we want that classic decimal answer. So let's just type this answer in there. 100 plus 20 square root of 89. And there's our final answer. So, or 288.67962, it's more numbers, inches squared. So there's how you find the surface area of a pyramid. Again, make sure you know this formula or make, uh, even more, make sure you understand how we got this formula. The B is the base area, okay? So the bottom parts of the pyramid and all of these other faces are triangles. So it's the base perimeter times the slant height from here to here divided by two, we divide by two because all of these are triangles. Hope it helps um, and um, yeah, make sure you do these. Remember, more, the more practice you get, uh, the easier it'll get. And um, yeah, have a great day.